have a table filled with squishy things, ooh. And if you know me by now, you know that I'm about to start chopping these little squishies up, seeing what is inside. Cannot wait. All right, everybody, so here's what we have today. A whole bunch of new ones on the testing table. Look at this little guy. It is so weird. It's super stretchy. It's made of this weird material. Almost feels like rubber gloves. I can't even describe it. It's Olaf. It's a super pearly color, almost like a gold. I'm loving the shade of this, and I really do not know what's inside. It feels a little bit like Orbeez. Kind of crunchy in there. It's gonna be a good one. Ew, don't want to spoil anyone's appetite, but look at this. This is the grossest things I've ever seen. We have this chopped up ear. Looks like it has blood. It is so, so slimy. I don't know if this is solid or if there's something in here that's gonna like leak out. Ooh, it feels so gross. So we have the ear and a nose. And this nose, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It looks too real. It feels real. Ugh. I'm gonna be taking a look at this guy. Can you believe this thing? It is the weirdest material. It's so, so thick and rubbery, but there's something inside of here. I don't think it's just regular rubber or silicone. Just listen to it. It's so squishy. Ooh, and I even think the arms pop off. This sounds so, so weird. I think we're going to cut him open first. Another wacky thing I came across when I was looking for some squishies to open is this one. Can you believe it? It is a block of cheese and there are two super, super squishy little mousies in there. Look at that. <laughs> they are so gross. That tail is so real. Ooh, I don't even want to touch them. They look real. It's so, so slimy and squishy. Ah, <laughs> too, too weird. A couple days ago, I opened up a jellyfish. It had all of the slime in there. This time, I have another jellyfish, but it is ultra scary. This thing looks so, so real. And I think it's even glow in the dark. It's got these little pieces that are hanging. There's something in there. Definitely some kind of slime or goo. That is really wild. Boop. Here's the final one, and out of every single one of these, this is the most soothing and relaxing. I call this the stress reliever of the bunch. It's so, so fun to squish around. There's little blue balls in there. I don't know if they're rubber or Orbeez. So cool. Tons of squish going on right now, and there's no time to waste. I think we're gonna start with this guy. <laughs> this is a complete mystery one up on my chopping block is this one. Ooh, I love the colors on here. I love the pink and orange. It's got a little blue and it's got these crazy little teeth. Just so weird. If you squeeze this, ew, what is that? Ew, look, these little things pop off. What is going on with that? Oh, <laughs> I think the mystery is solved before I even cut into this. Ew, it has some kind of a like a gacky slime. Ooh, stinks. Smells like super glue. <laughs> really, really gross. But I kind of like it. It's so squishy. There is a first time for everything, and this happens to be the first squishy I didn't have to chop open with my scissors. And I almost forgot before I go into all this craziness right here. If you guys are gonna do this at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent watching because we're gonna be using scissors. I actually didn't have to for this one, but for the other ones, we are gonna be slicing them, so just make sure you're not doing this alone. Woo. Going back to this, it is so lucky because I didn't have to destroy this little guy. All I had to do was squeeze it and this blue stuff fell out of it. OMG, what is it? <laughs> it's so weird and it's freezing. It feels like ice cubes. Weird material because usually putty or slime will kind of like blend together and form into one piece. This one, no. It's just these little chunky blue things 
all over the place. They don't really blend together, but I love that squishy sound. Super quick one, so the mystery is solved inside of this hard rubber. Let me see if I can flip it inside out. Ooh, there was more. <laughs> it's like a really, really slippery clear rubber. And then a bunch of this blue goo. Oh, poor little Olaf found his way to the testing table. Oh, he is so, so cute. This is probably one of the best looking Olaf toys I've ever seen. It's got this pearly look, almost like gold, and it feels so, so strange. <laughs> It is crazy. It's kind of like a balloon at the top. The bottom is crunchy. Uh, Bubblegum, you're not gonna cut me, are you? No! This little guy is amazing. So many cool features. He's kind of squishy and stretchy and slimy and crunchy at the same time. So I think we're gonna start with the bottom here. This is where all the crunch is coming from. Let's give him a little snippy. So I got my shishies. I'm just gonna slice off one foot and see if something pours out of here. <laughs> I'm thinking it's maybe little Orbeez. Ooh. <laughs> what is this? Ew. So, so weird. It looks like the Orbeez before you actually grow them in water. Some kind of salt or pebbles. Woo, that is amazing. Whoa, this is just wild right now. There is so many of these little plastic things. They're either like these little plastic pebbles or Orbeez before you grow them. I don't know, but that is what was making the crunch. I have never seen anything like this inside of a squish. Coolest one. It is filled. Look at that. Ah! There you have it. Another mystery solved. Our little squishy Olaf was filled with these little plastic things. Actually, come to think of it, they look like little snow pebbles, like little grains of snow or snowballs. We got most of the crunchy little pebbles out. I'm just gonna flip Olaf around, see if I could shake out the rest. Ah, they're going in my eyes, they are flying everywhere. This is crazy. So in the middle, there's something here. It feels a little slimy. Worst part, I think I'm just gonna go for the neck. Ugh. Ooh, what's that? What did I do to him? Oh, my poor little sweet Olaf. He looks like he melted. Actually, he looks like he was just chopped up <laughs> real good. His head is off, his little feeties are off, and he has some little rubber thing in his neck. What is that? It's like a piece of glue. Ah. To a poor little lab rat, and I definitely have to slice off this carrot nose. Ooh. Yikes! <laughs> Look at it, it's so so funny. Here's those three little strands of hair he always has on top of his head. Ooh, they are really really stretchy. Oh, he's bald now, he's got no nose. Ooh, this thing still has those little plastic balls stuck on there, and it's so super stretchy. This really was the wildest squishy yet. It's got all of these things in here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Poor little snowman lost his two front teeth. Here they are. Chop them up. This super humongo mess that Olaf made. I have those little plastic pellets everywhere. They're in between my toes, they're in my ears, in my hair, whatever. I loved it. So now we're moving on to this jellyfish. And I think it's glow in the dark. I'm not 100% sure. 
But look at the squish on this thing. It's unbelievable. Whoa, here is our jelly. Our little jellyfish definitely is a glower. Look at that. Looks like kryptonite. Kind of looks like a planet in there. So, so squishy. The other pieces that are hanging like the tail, those don't actually glow. But whatever is inside of here is crazy because it is glowing away. Looks nuclear. Gotta open this up. To pop the lights on on my operating table here so I could chop this up and see what is inside. Ooh, and it's kind of weird because it glows green. It looks super green in the dark. But then it looks blue when the lights are on. And then if you look at the corner, it's got this weird yellow thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the glow juice. Ooh. Let's cut this baby open. Think I'm gonna make a little hole at the top. Woo! And try to squeeze it out. I definitely think it's gel. Not sure though. Hope it's not water. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like I'm popping a little zit here. Ooh, that's definitely some kind of jelly. Looks like toothpaste. Yeah, it looks like toothpaste. And that's what it feels like. And like the other ones, it's super freezing cold. I don't know what that's about. Ooh, we gotta test this and see if it glows in the dark. Let's pop the rest of it out. Ah. <laughs> Make a bigger hole so I can just squeeze this on out of there. Whoa. <laughs> If this was a real jelly, this would be some poison in there. Ugh. Feels so, so cool and gross at the same time, but I love that color. Looks like toothpaste. That's all I could think it looks like. Still more of it in there. So it's basically like this clear little rubber container. And it's got that blue goo. Whoa, it looks so real. This looks like a real jelly. I can't stand those things. They're so gross at the beach. Wow! What is this? Look at this, you guys. I turned the lights off to see if this would glow. And yes, it does. It glows in my hands. It is a glow putty. So, so cool. <laughs> so weird. Ooh, look at that. The one right in the center was so, so bright. This looks too, too awesome. The only thing I don't like about this, I wish there was a little bit more so you could squeeze it out and play. That is all you're gonna get. Just like half a little bit of a handful. First it's blue, then it's green. Ooh. <laughs> it is so, so crazy. not get this off of my hands and not only is this the coolest glow in the dark kind of slimy stuff I love this container or jelly pouch that it was in it's got the weird sounds when you stretch it it's just kind of like a hard rubber crunch it super duper crunch to it number three solved inside of jellyfish was blue goo glow in the dark and some hard rubber on to the next one <laughs> not too much to say about these i hope you guys ate already before seeing this because it could definitely take an appetite right away. Ooh, and it's filled with all those little Olaf things. I cannot get them off. They're stuck to everything. They're on my feet, they're on the carpet, they're on the wall. I even think they're in my soda that I'm drinking. They flew everywhere. But here is the ear, and this thing is so, so squish. So rubbery. It looks like real blood or a little cut in there. Ooh, I cannot even take it. I'm super grossed out by it, yet I love it at the same time because who has a fake little squishy ear like this? <laughs> Not so easy to come by. Ooh. 
here's our other little body part. We're gonna be slicing and dicing. It is a nose. This nose looks like it's filled with little boogers, all those little Olaf pellets. It's got the nostrils. Ooh, it feels so, so weird. Cannot even take it. So what do you guys say? We open them up and take a look. Might as well start with the nose. And just to warn you, I think it's gonna be a little bit crunchy because outside of all of the stretchy stuff, we have these little pellets, orbies, whatever they are. So I'm just gonna go right through the middle. Ooh. Mr. South, inside of the nose, we get some hard, kind of like a silicone rubber. Nothing too fancy or amazing to look at, but <laughs> just the fact that I just chopped up this nose, looks like a prosthetic or a movie prop. So, so cool. Would have been even cooler if there was some blood that was squirting out of here. Here is our ear. Ooh. Not only is this a really fun little squishy toy, this is an amazing little thing to do a prank on your brother or sister. You could throw it in their sandwich or put it on their pillow. They would freak out. I know it. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to slice. Ooh. <laughs> this feels too real and slithery. Same as the nose, just kind of like a silicone. Pretty solid. Nothing falling out of there or oozing out. Wish there was some blood or something. Actually, when I look at this, it looks like little pieces of ham. <laughs> There's some kind of meat that you're about to cook. Really, really does. And it's so, so fun to like cut with the scissors because it's got this really crunchy feeling. I feel like I'm operating. Ooh, look at that piece. So, so real. Boop. Ooh. <laughs> Not much to say about this piece. Looks... Looks too real. And there you go. Hope I didn't gross anyone out with this one. Inside of these squishy little body parts, we get some hard rubber. Actually, not hard rubber. Really, really stretchy rubber. Super cool material. These were great. Here on a roll, we have two more left to go. Ooh, and this is a goodie. Look at this thing. It is so, so cool. So relaxing. I would just like a huge one of these and to sleep on it at night. Like a big, soft, and jelly pillow. It feels like jelly inside. I don't know if these are super hard little rubber balls or if they are Orbeez. So, time to take a little pinch of the side and find out. Let's see. Woo! Ooh, like, they are flying everywhere. Ooh, I think they're Orbeez, actually. I don't know what they are. Like, a week ago, I cut open this huge, huge emoji face. It had about a million Orbeez in there. This had not even a quarter of those. But I don't know if these are really Orbeez. Look at that. So, so pretty. Looks like a raindrop. Only one way to find out if it's like a rubber ball. It's going to be super hard to cut into, but if it is an Orby, it's going to be soft. So let's see. Whoop, it's an Orby. It is a little water ball Orby. I mixed it up with some of these little pink ones. Oh, that looks so, so gross. So, mystery solved. Inside of this stretchy rubber, we get some beautiful blue Orbeez. Ooh, they remind me of the sea. Yes, and we are on to the final one. And I'm only a little excited about that because I have a serious mess going right now. <laughs> I have a mess like nobody's business. I have Orbeez all over my feet, those little Olaf pellets. I have some of this blue goo, glow in the dark slime. I am just, ah, can't take it. So we have our little block of cheese and our squiggly stretchy mice. Eee, look at that tail. When I go to the pet store and I see mice, the little white ones are even scarier than those black dark ones because they have those red beady eyes, although this doesn't. They are just so gross. I think I could take a snake and a bug, but I cannot take these things. 
this one is so, so squished though. What do you know, inside of this block of cheese looks like Swiss. We get another little slimy guy. One of these little wackos doesn't come and bite me. They are guarding this cheese. Ooh, and this looks so super real. I can't believe it. It is just, ooh, it is the squishiest thing ever. First one up on the chopping block is this poor little mouse here. I'm just going to snip it. Ooh, it's so crunchy. And inside we have some of that squishy rubber. Almost the same as the nose and the ear. Actually, this one is a little bit softer. This is like a harder rubber. Ooh, I have goo all over me. <laughs> so gross. Give it a little snip. Ooh, cut those ears. And last but not least, ooh, I don't like this tail. So there are just so many little holes in this cheese. And I think if there was something that was going to come oozing out, it would have came already. Let's flip it inside out. Ooh, <laughs> looks like some melted in there. Eee, the little melties everywhere. Get away. Ah, it's so hard to break open. Oh, definitely can't pull it apart. This thing is like indestructible. It's so, so hard. So I got my scissors and I'm just going to chop it up just like the rest of them. See what's in there. Ooh, it's so cool because once you get inside of it, the cheese looks like it's melted. Looks good. It looks kind of yummy. Such a cool material. So, so stretchy. I love it. Kind of looks like mustard, the color. A mystery solved inside of this squishy piece of cheese. It's just plain rubber that looks like melted cheese. And inside of these little mice was just some other rubber. Ooh, just had to chop them up. <laughs> they were so scary to look at. This was really wild. It was so different. I've never seen one like this. We reached the end and looking at this pile, I seriously have no words. It's just too weird for words. We have some cheese, pieces of ear. This little guy is still cute and intact. The only one, our poor little Olaf is chopped up. Those beads are seriously everywhere. They stick to everything. Blue goo, jellyfish. This was amazing. Love them all. And if I had to pick a favorite, like I always do, my favorite, favorite one had to be Olaf, just because of these things in here. Even though I am not scanning the mess right now, I cannot believe it. I'm going to be vacuuming for like two days. I just was so amazed that all of these little things were inside of this rubber. I'd also love it if you guys left me a comment to know which squishy was your favorite. Did you like the one with the Orbeez or that blue goo? And if you want to see more fun videos just like this one, you can click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.